Welcome to this talk about barcode scanner. During the presentation, don't hesitate to ask your question on the pad and at the end of the presentation, I will take the time to answer them. As you know, we are living in a fast-moving world where companies have to reinvent themselves continuously. They have to be faster, uh, mistakes are not really allowed, and all is done all the time to simplify processes as much as possible in order to spare time. Therefore, using a barcode is really useful to go in this direction. During the presentation, I will show you how the barcode module is useful and powerful for optimizing your day-to-day -day in your warehouse. And in addition, it's so easy and so fast that it will be a pity to not use it. In five very simple steps, you can be ready to use the barcode module. First, choose your barcode device. There is mainly three types of barcode devices. You can first have the USB uh, scanner that I will use it later. Uh, it's just a barcode uh, scanner that is plugged to your computer with a USB port. You have um, the Bluetooth scanner. It's the same. It's the same, but it's with Bluetooth. And the idea that is that for the both scanner, it works like a keyboard. And the last one the mobile computer scanner is a bit like a mobile phone so it works um, via wi-fi and it's like you can just add the app on your scanner and here for example it will be with odoo um, so for the scanners yeah it's just depending on your budget and the configuration of your warehouse and if you want more information about it, you can just go on the Odoo website, you will find uh, much more information. The second step, activate the module. So easy, you go on inventory settings and you tick the box for the barcode scanner. The third one, add your barcodes. You need to add, have barcodes on your product, on your locations, if you have several uh, locations in your warehouse. And if you use a new operation that are not uh, already by default in Odoo, you have also to add um, a barcode on these uh, new operations. The, third, the fourth one, print your labels, easy to. And the last one, and not the least, prepare your warehouse. It's really important if you want to be efficient uh, in using a barcode scanner to think how you will work with it. So um, it's important to think about where you will to stick all your labels um, to make it really uh, easy for your worker. And for example, for the product, you can put it on a magnet because like this, if your product change from a shelf to another, you will just move your sticker and you will move it to another shelf. Uh, if you use a mobile computer scanner, you need enough Wi-Fi everywhere in your warehouse and in order to prevent some bugs uh, with your scanner it's better to have a spare scanner like this um, if you have any bugs you have your second one and you are uh, saved and the last point that is really important that is uh, if you want to use um, barcode internally it's not a problem you choose which one you want but if you want to use it for external purposes you need to have official barcodes so you have to ask to your vendors to have uh, official barcodes so five very simple steps now are you ready to try i will um, show you a practical case um, let's imagine uh, the company is eat better grocery it's an online grocery um, that is surfing on the organic and uh, local uh, uh, trends and uh, they are offering uh, products like usual supermarkets they have uh, meats, fish, uh, vegetables, fruits uh, sometimes they have also uh, electronic devices for the cooking so lots of things so let's go on the uh, eat better grocery 
uh, database. So here we can first see how is it configured. I go to inventory, I go to configuration settings, and you see below that I have my barcode module uh, that is activated. Uh, here I have chosen to have packages and I chose also to use to use the batch pickings. And um, in uh, also I have chosen uh, because I have some products with lots and serial numbers, so I also tick this box. And we have several locations in my warehouse and multi-step routes, so everything is already checked, and we can begin a normal day uh, at Eat Better Grocery. And if you want to print your barcodes, you can here print for the, the comments. And for example, if you want to print your product, you go just on product, you go on the list view, and here you check all the boxes, and you go on print, and you choose uh, the, the layout you want, the format you want. So, easy. So now, just let's go. Um, imagine it's a normal day at Eat Better Grocery. It's uh, the morning, and in the morning, it's the receptions. So I go on the barcode, and here you see that is uh, the web view, but if you want to see how it looks like if I, it was it on a, a mobile uh, computer scanner, you can see if I click here, then up, it looks like, like this, if you want it to see it, how it looks like uh, on a mobile uh, computer scanner. So it's uh, still really easy to see everything and very convenient. I go back on the web view, like this you see better. And we go, uh, it's time for the reception. So here I will go first into operations and I see that I have my five receptions to proceed. So I will go on my uh, first one, it's uh, this one, yep. Perfect. So, I can scan this one. So, you see, the first one is done. Uh, the second one, it's 10 units. It's a bit annoying to scan 10 times. So, I will just uh, click it here 10 times. But I can also uh, put the pen and say that I receive 60 up, it's down, and for the homemade pesto, uh, it's a bit annoying, I received only uh, 15 units on the 20, so I will put it like this, I confirm, and I validate. I won't create uh, back orders because I receive often products from this uh, vendor, so no back order. First one, done. So, the second one. Uh, it's my farmer, Jacques is uh, for fruits and for fruits uh, the, there wasn't the, there is no barcode but now in v14 it's not needed to have barcode to use the app so for the apple i will just say that i received the five this it's done the strawberry and the beer it's done too and my uh, this farmer is really a nice person and he, he gave me some additional products. So I don't need to uh, go out of the module. I can just add a product from here, find it here and I will see more. I will take the grip and I say that I received a six. He's really a nice person and I confirm, I validate. It's done. The second reception is done, and now I will do uh, the butcher. Butcher Jimmy is here, and for this, um, it's uh, managed by uh, lots. So I will um, have to scan the product first. Yep. You take it now, and now I have to um, scan the lot number. Here I have two sausages from this lot number and I have two other sausages from this lot. So this one 
this uh, done and I can validate. And for the last one is a um, big promo. I'm doing a promo for the moment uh, for a mixer for the baby. Uh, so to make uh, some uh, panade and I will um, do this one but I see that uh, oh, my scanner is broken. I will just put it manually the, um, the barcode. So I say that I receive one unit and the serial number is for example this one. I confirm. I'll take the other one. I take this one. I say that it's uh, this one. I confirm. And this one. Here and I create one. Perfect. So I confirm and all my reception for the day are done. In the morning, so it's the receptions, but it's also time to uh, check that everything is correct in the warehouse, everything is uh, clean and so on, and it's also time sometimes to move products from one shelf to another. I would like to change um, some products from one shelf to another, so I will create an internal transfer. I will, here you can see, I have my operation types, so I will scan the one to make an internal transfer. I will here scan my internal transfer, so it's open. And now I will say that I will uh, go from the shelf 1, so it's my source um, and I will go, I will take my product now, so you can see above that it's uh, tell you what you have to scan. So in shelf one, I will scan uh, my Spirelli. Okay, and I will move um, five units because um, one person told me that I have to to put it uh, in the shelf three because he needed it for something. He doesn't explain me a lot, but I will do it. So I now click on the destination location if it wants yep sorry my scanner is a bit um, old scanner well shelf 2 not this one oh we can just say that it will go on stock so validate and now we can also propose some inventory adjustments. I will create one. I create. I say that the source of my location is shelf one. And now I can scan my product. I will scan this one. Okay, I have 146 uh, pesto. Uh, in fact, when I look at uh, the boxes and so on, I don't have so much uh, pesto. I have only 100, so I will take the pen and say that I have 100. And I confirm and validate. Okay, it's already lots uh, for this morning. And uh, now it's time to, to create, uh, to prepare the, the orders for the afternoon. So I can go directly to this new button from a V14, it's batch transfers. I click on it and I will create my batch transfer. I will create a picking, so I take this one. I choose the three orders here above and I confirm. I didn't tell you, but here at Eat Better Grocery, there is three steps, three steps for the delivery. So first we pick the product, then um, during the same time we put it directly in cluster in the correct uh, packages, and then we scotch the box and we add some uh, words on it to make it uh, friendly, and then we deliver the boxes. So let's begin for the picking. I confirm, and so now. Uh, as we have a uh, batch picking that was created, we go only once to one location um, 
in our warehouse. So we'll begin first um, by the location here, it's WH stock, and we will have to scan the, the mixers. And we see that when it's in red, uh, it's the same, there is several colors for the several orders. So here, there is one mixer for the first order and one mixer for another order. So I will take the first one and yep, sorry. I take this one and I will say that it's not the correct uh, product that I have uh, in front of me. It's not this barcode. In fact, it's this one. So I can change my um, EAN just here. So really useful. And I can directly put it in the pack uh, here. So the pack uh, 15 is for my first order. And the second one, same problem in face of me, it's not the serial number finishing with uh, elf, it's 11, it's uh, another one, so I will take this one, I confirm, and I put it in a pack for the second order, so it's the 16. I go to the next page of my order, and I see the homemade pesto for the first order, I scan it, and you see directly, if I go below, that it proposes uh, the pack 15 that was already used for the first uh, mixer. So I can go here and choose the 15 as it was proposed. Then I will take the pesto for the, uh, another order, up the second add-on. It's another order, it's a blue one, so I will create a new pack for this one. Up, it's the 16, uh, the 17, sorry. And now I can just uh, scan the rest of my order, this one, and then uh, it's uh, Spirelli, yep, we have two. And so you see each time that it proposes you the pack that was initially uh, used for the first product. So I can go here and I choose directly the good package. And the same for the Spirelli, I do it, go air up, it's on. And now I go next. Now I have the sausages. I will just uh, put it here. So I have two and the second one, I have four. Yep, we are almost there. Up, oh, it's okay. And so now I just say that is the correct package. Is this one, and then is this one. Good. Uh, do we have something else? Yeah, some foods. Foods. I will just click here. Up. It's. All my fruits are done, and so I will just put it in the correct package. Oh, I forgot what it wasn't. It's 16. Yep, 16. I confirm. Here. Yeah. I confirm. And the last one is this one. Oh, it was a bit hard, but quite easy. In few minutes, I have prepared uh, three orders or four orders. I don't remember. I validate, and my transfer is done. As my package, I can go back and I will check what I need to do more. So I have the four, the second step for my delivery. It's the packaging. So I have to uh, scotch all my boxes and write a nice message on it. I can just go here and um, validate it, put in pack. So here I was, I have uh, prepared my, uh, my order in one box, but it was not the final box. 
Here I put it in the correct box. This is a unique box and it will be tracked uh, later uh, for the customer. So I validate. I won't show you each because it's a bit too long, so I will go directly under operation and you see that there is the same box that is here and is now this, uh, 18 and I can just uh, validate it. Oop. Oop, sorry. And it's done! Oh, it was uh, already finished. My day is done at Eat Better Grocery. I can go home and um, go for another day at Eat Better Grocery. I just come back on my slides. Um, so you have seen during uh, this uh, scan uh, that it's quite easy and fast and you can use it for, like you have seen, uh, advanced flows in uh, logistics. So it was in triple steps uh, for the delivery. And you can use it uh, for products with barcode, with old barcode, with lots number, with uh, serial numbers. So everything is possible with the barcode module. So just uh, try it and you will be really happy. Um, it's finished for now, but uh, I'm ready for all your questions. Hello again, uh, thank you for uh, staying tuned to this uh, Q&A session related to the barcode app. As you've seen during the talk, uh, we've had uh, we've added uh, a lot of new new features uh, in this app. And uh, thank you, Clotilde, for this presentation today. Um, I don't think we'll have a lot of time to answer all of, of, of your questions, so don't hesitate also to get in touch with the logistic team afterwards uh, during the demo boot. Uh, I picked a few questions um, because there are several questions that uh, we receive uh, and where we want maybe a little bit of uh, clarification. And the first one is again uh, about uh, does the barcode scanner module work offline? And what can you do with it offline, actually? It works offline, but you have your, you need to have your picking ready uh, for picking. And so you go in your warehouse, you make all your picking operations. And at the end, for the validation, you need, again, an internet connection. But so if you group all your uh, order together in a batch, uh, you, you can go once in your warehouse and then come back to your office to validate your operation. Yeah, okay, so we have kind of a, an in-between yeah. solution that we can use also to manage this uh, offline uh, process. All right, thanks. Um, another question we received uh, was about um, the button. So we have a add product button on the receipt. Yeah. Um, the question was, uh, can you just scan the new product to add or uh, how does it work? Yeah, you have two possibilities. You can uh, choose the button to add your product or you can just scan your product and it will have the same effect, in fact. Okay, uh, let's see other questions we have. Um, I think we had also um, a question about how can we indicate the storage location at reception for new products, for example. So you have to first scan all your products and then you scan the location. And if you want to use some rules, you can still use also the putaway rules that you set before uh, in the backend. Okay, there was another question uh, related to uh, another topic, which was uh, from Bastian. He wanted to know uh, if it's possible to disable the, the scanning uh, more products or other products than they are on the picking, because apparently they receive a lot of feedbacks from their customers that there were more items picked than what uh, actually should be uh, picked in the, in the current um, Unfortunately not. But it's because Odoo prefer to, to let the flexibility uh, of the user. And so if uh, you scan less product than expected, you will have a warning message uh, proposing you to have a back order. And if you scan too much product, you will, uh, you will have also a message saying that, uh, are you sure that you want to proceed more products than uh, expected? So you have the flexibility, but you have the warning message. All right, thank you very much for the explanation. I hope it answers your questions, Bastian. Um, another one was about, uh, yeah, we got a remark that uh, it seems to be a great feature for uh, small multiple uh, quantity picks uh, for more online retailers. 
uh, but uh, we were asked if uh, this uh, barcode app uh, can be used also for huge amounts, so to pick hundreds of the same products for a single order. What do you think about this use case? I think if you have regular uh, big amount of uh, quantities, the best is maybe to um, add packagings on your product form. Like this, if you have uh, 100, 1000 units, you will have only to scan your package and it will uh, work in, uh, directly. Okay. I think we got also one, I see one in the, the latest uh, questions uh, of the chat about uh, hardware. Do you have, re do we have recommendations on what hardware we should use? Uh, I think you tackled it in the beginning of the talk. But how can you decide what type of barcode scanner you should use? Um, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you will probably not use an MC20 uh, for an, an Android or mobile computer scanner. Um, but the, a mobile computer scanner is good because it helps you. Um, it's, uh, you have much flexibility for doing manually. And uh, for the USB, yeah, it's just uh, easy, but you have to keep your computer next to you, and it's the same for Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So it's really depending on uh, the budget and on the configuration of your warehouse. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, on the size, on uh, the budget that you have. Okay, yeah. thank you very much for this answer. I think uh, we don't have much more time uh, to answer other questions, but uh, as said before, uh, don't hesitate to uh, get in touch with our community. We had uh, we have plenty of experts available. Uh, I saw also some requests to have uh, some chats in French or even other language, so we can help you to answer those questions. Uh, go to uh, experience.odoo.com. Uh, and check the community and in the community you can just go to uh, logistics and from there you will also have uh, people that can uh, answer your specific questions. Thank you all for watching. Thank you again Clotilde for this talk. Thank you. And uh, see you later for the next talk. Bye.